How are you? Good to see you. Very still. They will determine how long you live. You have no right to be here. You will tell me how you found this place. No signal should have left this system. Mm, but the Oracle was lost. It was deemed necessary at the time. We will reevaluate that decision in light of what has happened. Forrest, I think we need not fear our guest. Perhaps, in this time of need, the Great Serpent has delivered us a gift. Counselor, with due respect, we have not had unannounced visitors here in generations. It is a clear breach of security. I do not disagree, and I know that security, in whatever small form we can grasp it, is of paramount importance. But you must acknowledge the timing is... curious. And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. That, I fear, may be impossible under the circumstances. Boris is right. We have not had any uninvited callers in quite some time. Great Serpent! It's happening again. Hear me! Speaker, we are here to, to seek guidance in our hour of need. The gate in the Citadel has been opened just to seek you. Oh, Great Serpent! Is... Is that you? Is it your presence, I feel? I... I feel something, yet I see nothing. Is this a test? What do you require of me? Great Serpent, I have done all that I can. The Scaled Citadel itself has been transformed to petition you. I know that all must serve, but I need more. I require guidance. Take pity on us and reveal the way forward. He has appeared like this over and over. So many of our people have been trapped in this state, these vortex phantoms, but usually they are hostile and Lash out. Anasco is different. If only we could hear his voice. Some reassurance that all is not lost. You could hear him. Despite the sightings, none have heard the word from Anasco in all this time, yet you claim to. Do not toy with me. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? This is too important. You must remember something. By the serpent. No outsider would know our creed. It is never uttered beyond this city. Truly. You did hear an Asko. You have been chosen.
people of House Varun, hear me. We have asked the Great Serpent for deliverance from our calamity, and he has answered us. This outsider has been chosen as the most unlikely vessel for the Great Serpent's divine provenance, and he will help save us all. Outsider, please. There is no denying you have been sent here as a sign. You must help us. But there are... Uh, there are precepts that must be followed, principles that must be obeyed. Even in these dire circumstances, we cannot turn from Jinan Varun's teachings. You will be granted safe passage through Dazra and the lands beyond. No harm will come to you, on that you have my word. But to truly aid us, you must become part of House Varun. This is not a thing done lightly, and it cannot be taken back. Will you commit to helping us by becoming one of the promised? Excellent. Please, come with me. Forgive me for not introducing my High Council of House Varun. I have been asked to represent the Council in this moment. Please, enter our city. You have my word that you will not be harmed. I would ask that until you have become promised, you avoid the citizens of Dazra. They are not used to outsiders. Open the gate! I must tell you what I revealed for now, but surely you saw the scared citadel as you arrived. It was the center of an explosion of sorts that has annihilated most of our city. We have lost many of our brothers and sisters. I believe we are still in danger. Problem, Makala. The city is in shambles. The speaker is missing, and here you are leading some outsider through our sacred space. Why allow this husk to defile our city? Have we not lost enough? Without our leader, have faith. I believe this outsider was guided here by the great serpent himself. Our situation is dire. We need all the help we can get, including yours. You mean, of course, the morn? It is, in fact. I have always found it comfort. Its presence. He has led how he believed you. I should perhaps, if you can hear. And soon, serpent willing, they will be one of us. But. I can be sure and pass your concerns on to the rest of the High Council, if you wish. I apologize for the interruption. There is a ritual intended for converts to the Promised. It has not been performed in generations. We are fortunate that there are those still alive who remember the old ways, and have remained prepared for such a moment as this. I suspected we might find you here waiting. I saw the ship landing. I knew immediately that I would be needed. Indeed you are. And this is Inaza Kaisia, Herald of the Serpent. She will guide you through the ritual. I am needed elsewhere, but I assure you that you are in good hands. So, the Great Serpent sends you to me. No husk that walk the serpent's path. To enter the sacred cave, there is no turning back. You will be forever changed. This is a path 
You must walk of your own free will, alone. Will you step forward and emerge anointed, one of the promised? A lesson, a test, a moment for the great serpent to reach out and fill you with something more than what you have been. Then enter, and I shall guide you along the serpent's path. must walk the path. I am merely here to guide you along your way. Before House Haru, there were humans. First on Earth, then scattered among the stars. And like all humans, they were lost souls, wandering in the dark. Looking for a path. One particular colony sheep housed several hundred of these souls. They were each alone and isolated. Individual tiny flames that could be snuffed out at a moment's notice. Chinang Room count of a great servant and was given the gift of knowledge. He shared his knowledge with those around him and lit the way for them. They followed his guidance and his light, and they cast aside the burdens of their former lives. And thus, House Varun was born. Now you too have the chance to cast aside your burdens, to relieve yourself of anything that holds you back. People's hopes and fears and dreams were entrusted to the Great Serpent. They made the leap of faith that brought House Varun to greatness. You may now follow in their footsteps and take that same leap. Embrace the Great Serpent, and he will embrace you.
people of House Harum settled in this world. At first, in these very caves, Jinan himself just slept among them in the shelters. It was here that he spread the word of the serpent, and it was here that the people of House Harum first understood the truth of the shrouding. The great serpent's return. It was here that the people of House Harum first understood the truth of their place in the universe. He will encircle the universe he created, and all those who do not follow will be cast into shadow. And the people weighed this knowledge against their former lives, and saw how they had been blessed despite the difficult new life that awaited them. You too would do well to feel that solace amidst the pain. Until that day comes, we are the voice and the hands of the Great Serpent. Our every act a sacrifice to hasten his return. Make now a sacrifice to prove your devotion. And remember, whether in life or in death, all must serve. Let us begin the final ritual. Everyone have stood before the great servant. We can all feel his presence. To solidify his bond, you are presented to the simple choices. Before you on this day are several items. They represent the different aspects of House Guru's connection to the great servant. Pick the two that call to you. Place them on the altars, offerings to the great serpent that he may fill you with his spirit and make you promise. And so you arise, one of the promised of House Varun. Did you feel the great serpent working within you? Do you feel born anew? To truly commit to the great serpent requires utter devotion and unending obedience. I grant you the title of Reverend, all will know you, all will trust you. Above us, 
in the Grand Ship Morning, jewel of the Varun fleet. The High Council awaits your arrival. Serve them. Serve the Great Serpent. All must serve. Need something. Welcome, Reverend. You stand before what remains of the High Council, advisors to Anasko Varun. We are all that is left after the disaster that has befallen our people. I represent House Dulkef. Jamal is from House Kadik. We are joined by Lovek of House Vital. We are, all of us, hopeful that your arrival in Dazra and your clear connection to Anasko Varun, for the first time in weeks, represent some semblance of hope. I understand. Until you were one of us, we could not trust you. By all means, Malabor. I can't wait to see how you spend this. Please, can we just for a moment... Can we just for a moment what? Discuss whether or not to allow the first convert to House Barun since before any of us were born? A bit late on that, it seems. You are not there. You did not see Anasco. It felt different. We have already wasted so much time and... You're correct. I was not there. Because you elected to travel to the spaceport on your own, and then decided this on your own. Do not waste time with more bickering. Anasco, and by extension House Varun, suffers with every passing moment. Of course, Lovek. My apologies. Please, Malabor. Do go on. Anasco Varun, like his father before him, has relied on the teachings of Jinan to guide us. Anasko wondered if perhaps it was time to seek guidance directly from the Great Serpent. And so sought a means of reaching out. Perhaps he found the teachings inadequate. Careful, Kadik. You tread on dangerous ground. I mean nothing by it. We simply were never consulted on the matter and do not know the full motive. The point is that a series of experiments have taken place over the years, utilizing grav drive technology to... Hopefully make direct contact with the Great Serpent, similar to Jinan Varun's initial meeting. And then something went wrong. We do not know what happened. We were not inside the scaled citadel at the time. Had we been, we wouldn't be standing here now. We'd be like the rest of them. A great tide of energy emanated from the scaled citadel and swept across Dasra. Much was destroyed in its wake. Those caught in the blast have been left in a state of confusion, trapped halfway between our universe and the Vortex. The Citadel itself remains in such a state. Right there and... yet beyond our reach. We can only assume that the experiment is still running, somehow preventing us from entering the Citadel. We cannot get in, so we cannot stop it. We were beginning to lose hope before you arrived. Your arrival and your interaction with Anasco shows that he can still be saved. A plan had been devised to access the Citadel, but the work stalled. Clearly, it is time to move forward with it. The 
Current head of our science team, Akris, should be in Jinan Plaza down below us, towards the Citadel. Tell him about your experience with Anasco, and that work on the morning device must proceed. Scientists out at Hamadi Station? The old married couple? Uh, Azad and Shireen, if I remember right. I've met them a few times. Proceed. It is. You have made quite a stir, and given the state of things, that is a singular accomplishment. To what do I owe the honor, Reverend? At the moment, obviously a great deal of nothing. I have the High Council to thank for that. Politics and expedience rarely pair well. Well, well. Progress, at last. Then your arrival is even more momentous than I'd believed. I will spare you much of the technical detail, as I confess that pieces of it I barely understand myself. One cannot help but notice the energy field around the scaled citadel. Until we can get through it, we cannot shut down the experiment inside, and it has proved quite impossible get through. We had the beginnings of a plan to build a makeshift contraption to redirect grav drive energy to see if we could penetrate the barrier, but the project came to a halt. Politics got in the way. Every one of the houses needs to contribute, and every one realized they could potentially use it for leverage. What should have been a cooperative effort turned contentious. Easy decisions became negotiations. And so, construction never began. We have sat here, staring at this disaster as supplies pile up for well over a week now. Serpent help us, it is infuriating. Indeed, all must serve. I believe I've done enough complaining for now. Time to get to work. If you're here, the Council has likely sent word to the Houses that it's time to stop the infighting. <laughs> I doubt it will be enough. I need to oversee construction here, make sure things are built to specifications. If you could follow up with the Houses, that may speed up the process. The first convert in generations. The only one to have heard from the speaker since the disaster. Oh, I think they will listen. House Fetal owes us access codes for the city power grid. It's the only way to guarantee enough power to activate the device. House Kadik was supposed to provide a young scientist named Sahima to help me. She had at least some experience with the original Citadel experiment. No idea why they refused to send her. And Hasmek, the new elder of House Dulkef, he has been distant, guarded. He claims to have vital information about an important component of the experiment, but has withheld it until now. Help me get what we need, and we will see what we can do for the speaker. And for House Varun. And I may have something that can help you in whatever trials the serpent puts before you as we navigate this. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research when I can. 
These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. Yeah, if only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. I know, I know. I have lost friends and colleagues myself. We have encountered several interesting phenomena. First, while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed, they often retain small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of Vortex energy. Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. This is hardly the time to be turning down additional options. I am simply providing you with the information. If you choose to ignore it, so be it. The process is simple enough that any industrial workstation should suffice, if you have the materials. And, depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope you can use that to your advantage.